Who can I make say, I love you? <laughs> Another satisfied Valentine's Day customer. I bet you've never had a date on Valentine's Day in your life. Well, I'll bet you never have a date on Valentine's Day no matter how long you live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I bet I could get a date before you could. Well, I'll bet I can get a date before you. Okay, it's a bet then. You bet it's a bet. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Wait till you see me in my new red Valentine's dress tonight. The only thing I'll be shattering are hearts. Single walrus seeks ideal date. Must be clean, parasite free, whiskers a plus. Woodpecker seeks ideal date. Oh boy, here's my destiny. Hey, hello. Hey, baby, how about you and me going out stepping? Tell me what you look like first. <laughs> Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Fifth and vine at seven. A saucy little bird. Oh, mama. Hey, I'm walking here. Why, you? I'll. Hmm. No good, Florida, dirty. Please. Boy, I guess. <laughs> Bucket, bucket on the floor. Who's the prettiest forevermore? Ah, when I get my hands on that culprit, who? Ah, ha! No good hooligans. Now, who's responsible? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up. I have to get ready for my date. So double time and share if you have to, but move it. I don't hear you sharing in there. Share and share alike. Share and share alike. Crazy woodpecker. Ah, smooth, smooth legs. No more flaky ankles. Why 
ないよあやだあ
little Bavarian bratwurst. When he goes in for a nap, I'll have the place all to myself. While Gunter's a napping, I'll be a tapping. Oh, and now for my second course. So, Mr. Bad Woodpecker Guy, you thought you could escape Uber Duper Man! Freebies. I'm out of this joint. Yemeni, it's here. I won, I won. Yeah. Oh. I won, and now I'll have the fun. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? I won the father and the son cruise on the ocean. I won, I won, I won, I won. Hello, anyone home at the meatball residence? You don't have a son, Wally. <gasps> What I gonna do? You can be my son! Are you nuts? Oh, my little sunny boy. Fruit of my loins. Think of the swimming, the tennis, the three deluxe swimming pools. Nah, I... Swimming, huh? And the free all-you-can-eat smorgasbord. All-you-can-eat, huh? And these exotic port o call. Exotic ports? Wow! You will do it? Not a chance. <laughs> Wally, buddy, there's only one way I'd ever go on a cruise with you. Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulations on winning the contest. 
congratulate your father and son? Of course we're father and son. You think I'd be with him otherwise? Oh, uh, sorry. We have to be careful. We found a fake father and son on our last cruise. But we took care of them. They spent the entire trip in the brig eating nothing but bread and water. The brig? This is stupid, Voidpecker. We're gonna get caught. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full, Junior. <laughs> Kids. Can't live with them, can't convince them to run away with the circus. Father and son, huh? If they aren't, I'll have them in the brick by sunset. Ah, this is the life. They hate being the child. Eh, quit your complaining, or next time I'll leave you home. Leave me home! This is my cruise! <laughs> oh, uh, time for the sunscreen, son. I think your meatball is frying. Would your son care to join the others in the pool? Little Wallace loves playing with other kids, don't you, Wallace? <laughs> Boy, you're sure big, Wally. Bet you aren't afraid of anything. <laughs> oh. Bet if you got seasick, your big chunks could sink this ship. <laughs> oh, Wallace, son, are you sure you don't want to dive like all the other kids? We want big chunks. We want big chunks. <laughs> <laughs> this way, son. You sit here. Avon. This is some cruise, all right, Wally. Huh? <laughs> Look, the space shuttle. Oh boy, where? Must have yours missed it. Ah, who cares? They brought me a fruit drink. <laughs> ah! Huh? Are you ready to order, sir? Am I ever? I'll take a big steak smothered in onions with french fries, corn on the cob, and something special for dessert. Yeah, me too, me too. Children order from the little sailor's menu. Um, Wallace will have a grilled cheese sandwich, an extra large helping of cream spinach, strained squash, and a big glass of buttermilk. But I don't want... Whoa, did you hear that? Sounds like my little boy has gotten a hoarse voice from all the sea air. Oh, uh, just as I thought. My boy needs vitamins. Give him spinach. Spinach and more spinach. And for dessert, a delicious Bavarian chocolate cake. Uh-uh. Finish your dinner, Wallace. Who's the big boy who cleans his plate? I'm the big boy who cleans his plate, you bet. Yeah, but now. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't finish your whole dinner. Oh. <laughs> this was the stupidest idea you ever had. <laughs> I should have been the papa. You're too immature. No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. No, I am. No, I am! Okay, you are. I'm sure you both love our brig. Hee, hee, hee. brig! Okay, you be the father. Figure out a way to get us home. Don't start with me, Woodpecker. Look! We're safe! Oh. 
closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it. You could poke an eye out with that thing. Hey Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. A special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got the hook in a pole? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's Cut Rate Bait, you can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with Cut Rate Bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Allow me to introduce you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog, and next, my genuine fish fly larvae. And finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. Something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So send me back and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? <laughs> Satisfied with cut rate bait, 
Send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catch us a fish. Another return? Oh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey guys, huddle up! Break! Only bait left is penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. We have returned! But what's wrong? Well, you fed us when we were little, so we can return the favor. Right, boys? Remember what you taught us? Watch this! <laughs> nya, nya, you can't get me! <laughs> There's only one ticket left for the game, and it's in the cheap seats. Okay. Huh? Sold! Hey, what's the big idea? That's my ticket. Not anymore, funny little man. <laughs> Home run. I'd say it was more of a foul ball. <laughs> hey, no! Strike one! No! Strike two! <laughs> Strike three! You're out! And I'm in. <laughs> Allow me, little Mr. Chicken Taker! A superbular catch by moi! <laughs> hmm, now where did that ball game busting bully go? Join ah. <laughs> your grub, Bob! Why, you let me So long, sap. Cheap seats way out that way. My, my, how convenient and whatnot. I was just looking for this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hmm. Team mascot, Rocky the Boy Rocket. I know just how I'll give that guy a seat. On the moon! <laughs> rah, rah, etc. Go Rockets! <laughs> attention, sports fans, attention! Rocky the Boy Rocket's Lucky Seat Contest is about to begin. 
a contest. Oh, and I didn't study. That's right, ladies and germs. Who is the lucky one seated in aisle O? Oh. Oh. Exit me. Oh, I hate alphabetical order. This hurts my head. Aisle O. As in, oh my gosh, I'm a big dumb bully with the winning ticket. Okay. One, two, L. Seven M N carried it. Three, oh, 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 Pinko! That's me! Row 57, seat nine. Woo <laughs> what do I win? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Rockets don't have red hair! Do they? No! Apparently, today's seventh inning stretch festivities are starting early. Give me back my ticket! Oh, that's gonna leave them seeing stars. Just get hit by a turnip truck, you know. Well, not yet, anyway. Stealing your ticket was wrong and disconsiderable of me. Please, you take the seat. No, you take it. No, you take it. It's all yours. No, it's all yours. No, I insist. You, me, you, me. My, oh, my, and there's a deep drive into left field by Pepper McCracken. It could, it might, it may be out of the ballpark. Gee, you know, I will take this seat. Whoever catches McCracken's 500 home run ball will be the winner of front row season tickets. Woohoo! Thank you, yes, sir. Yes! Holy shamoly! What a spectacular catch by the Woodpecker fan in center field! Say, Sporto, why don't you just keep the seat after all? It's, it's a good seat. I, I like it. It's all mine. the highlight of our tour, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! It's the famous Peckingham Castle. Stay together. You may catch a glimpse of the Queen if you're lucky. <gasps> the Royal Kitchen. Oh, it's been my lifelong dream to be the Queen's Royal Chef. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Cream puffs and eclairs flambe. I can whip those up right away. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I am so sorry. 
Is that the way for a royal cooking assistant to behave? Royal cooking assistant? No, it is not. I am the great Volley Volus, the Queen's new royal chef from Sweden. This my first day here, and I got to make my famous Swedish taffy for Her Highness in less than one hour. You will assist the great Chef Wally, yeah? <laughs> wow. If I can prove to Chef Wally that I'm a good cook, I could become a real royal chef. Now, Woodpecker, work, work, work! All cooking utensils present and accounted for, sir! Out of my way, and check the taffy's taffiness. Check the taffy's taffiness? Aye, aye, sir. Some salt water. I need a bit of honey. Gooey marmalade. Yeah, a bit of chewing gum. What in the name of all flaming fjords? <laughs> Turn off the machine! Oh no! What lever do I use? Whoa! Shut it down! Die! Right! Stop! 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 Was wrong. No, Chef Wally, please. Just let me cook something and you'll see that I'm a real kitchen magician. No way, Houdini. You'll do your magic on these. Grease them all in five minutes or you're fired. Hmm. How am I going to grease all these pans that fast? The dishwasher. Like I always say, when in doubt, <clears throat> this butter should do the trick. trying to do? Ruin me! What's this? Oh, no! Take that and 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 two of those! All done! Oh, no! We're late! Woodpecker, finish the taffy! If you mess up, I'll see the only place you cook is in the royal dungeon. Everything happens to Bali. The recipe's all in Swedish. Oh, here goes nothing. I'll add some honey. And maybe a dash of this, a pinch of that. Yeah, I'm all over this dessert. You bet! I hope that taffy assistant's got my taffy ready. Oh, maybe I used a little too much of this and that, or that and the other. <laughs> that doesn't smell like my taffy. <laughs> Look at what you did to my famous taffy. Responsible for this. 
Oh, well, uh, your majesty, uh, this one right here, my assistant, she is responsible for everything. She did it all. You're an assistant? Not anymore. That's right. You're fired. Fired? Why, I'm promoting her. <laughs> but? Winnie, you are my new royal chef. Yeah, I love this. And Wally, you're demoted to assistant. I'll be the world's greatest royal chef. No, no, I am the greatest chef in the world, not her. You can't do this. I will appeal to the speed. Oh, don't be too hard on him, your highness. He means well. He's just a little stuck on himself. <laughs> oh, 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 how droll. Very amusing. Oh, thank you, highness. <laughs> for today's big event, the Wild and Wacky Anything Gold Race, and you could win a $1,000 prize. Wow, a $1,000 prize? That's right. Find yourself a suitable ride and race your way to fun and fortune. Hmm, if I only had something to race. We got this race sewn up. Remember to lay back till the last turn. Tell me again why you aren't the one running. Psst. Pally, how'd you like to buy a genuine champagne racer for, say, 20 bucks? 20 bucks to win a fight? Hey, how do I know you're not trying to cheat me? Why would I want to cheat a smart woodpecker like you? Stall 13 is where you'll find your winner. Ciao! to swim with the clams, bring you floaties. <laughs> I'm starting to get an appetite for clams marinara. Hello, handsome. Say, you're good looking enough to be a movie star. How's about being my lean lady? Fresh. Yeah, <laughs> fresh from the sea. <laughs> you and me could be 
happy as clams together, doll face. <laughs> oh, but you know, a girl like me wants romance and flowers. <gasps> oh, Clammy, prove your love for me. Hey! We'll jump off Lover's Leap together. Hello? What, are you making oysters in there? That clip's gotta be... <laughs> For me, lover boy. Wait! You're that sucker! Woodpecker. Yep, and you're gonna ride me to fame and fortune, you bamboozling bottom feeder. Moments away from the start of the big country fair race, and a last minute entry Woody Woodpecker riding happy as a clam. And. What are you gonna do next? I'm having him for dinner. <clears throat> Nothing goes better with spaghetti than clams. A thousand clams split 50-50. Eh, minus the 20 you still owe me. <laughs> to TV's favorite game show, Scavenger Rebel, with your host, Junkyard Jim. And now, <laughs> a big junkyard welcome for our first contestant, Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we like your spunk. Now, let's meet your opponent! Buzz Buzzard! Hey, I'm not playing against that lousy cheater! Who you calling a cheat? Okay, okay, fellas. I see you two already know each other. <laughs> Save it for the game. <laughs> Happy contestants are off buckling into their scavenger rama mobiles because they'll soon be racing around the city solving game clues and collecting scavenger hunt items. And the one who brings back all the items wins these fabulous prizes. May the best junk collector win. <laughs> Time for your first clue, contestants. It's like taking blank from a baby. Like taking candy from a baby. Thanks for the answer, sap. <laughs> Get away from me, you cheater! Big Baby Daycare Center. The perfect place for finding babies with candy. about the big baby part. Go, 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 giggum, lollipop. Hmm? 
<laughs> it's time to start you a college fund. How much for your big sucker, you big sucker? Baby needs to burp. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, clue number two <laughs> Never judge a blank by its cover. Oh, ooh, all that time I had for reading in the joint paid off. You never judge a book by its cover. Hmm, Frankenstein. Poison! Ah! <gasps> Call of the Wild, one of my favorites. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Wait a minute. He's gone. I'll just take uh, the three musketeers here. Oh, for one. And one for the war. Oh, look, three musketeers, the abridged version. <laughs> So long, Sap. <laughs> the score is tied one to one. And here's your next clue. A blank and his money are soon parted. Huh? What's that mean? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing heading back to the studio? Let me through! I'm gonna win! You can't win! You never found a last scavenger item! Right okay, okay. Let's say it's a tie. Then we'll split all the prizes 50 50. You know, you're right, chum. And I'm getting first pick! Oh, oh, I won, I won! Oh, 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 oh it's wonderful! <laughs> All righty then, let's see what items you brought back, Woody. Like taking candy from a baby, never judge a book by its cover. And the final clue? A blank and his money are soon parted? Oh, that's easy. A fool and his money are soon parted, junkyard. Did you bring us back a fool, Woody? I sure did, and there he is. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. Woody Woodpecker is today's <laughs> scavenger robber champion! <gasps> no! We tied! I didn't lose! That's right. There are no losers on scavenger Rama, Mr. Buzzard. You win the consolation prize! A fun-filled day with Anna! <laughs> Oh, boy! You mean a date with the Goyle who points to the fabulous prizes? No, Anna, the junkyard dog! <laughs> no! Stop! Thank <laughs> you. 
fine grub, Private. Haven't had a meal that good since Mom retired from the Corps. Carry on. Huh? Wait a minute. You don't look army issue, boy. No frick frack paddywhacking way. That chow's for military stomachs only, and you're not... <gasps> the general. At ease, Sergeant. But not too at ease. Military intelligence is at this moment tracking a super spy who's gonna try and steal our military secrets. I need a crack counter spy who'll use all the tricks of the trade to stop him from sneaking onto our base. Yes, sir, sir. You can count on me, sir. Sergeant, you have a non-regulation penguin on your helmet. Uh, sir, I, I can explain this. Tuxedo Boy here infiltrated the base looking for a free meal on the government of the U.S. of A. And I'm not about to let that happen, sir. Oof, that's worse than a boil on a sunburn. I think we found our operative. What? He infiltrated your perimeter, soldier. That means he's tricky, sly, and clever. But, but General, sir. Plus, he's cute and innocent looking. No one would ever suspect him of being a counter spy. Oh, and best of all, he likes you, Sergeant. Carry on, Sergeant Hogwash. You train him to be a super spy by nightfall, and there's a big promotion in it for you. Fail, and you'll be cleaning latrines after the annual chili cook-off. Ah! Little Grunt's gone AWOL! And he's taking my promotion with him! There'll be no towel until... Drag me the wool, drag me quick. Get out of my way. I'm gonna be sick. Pay less than one. You eat after I train you. Now, to be a good spy, you gotta have a good disguise to disguise yourself. Now, in so doing, you'll convince the enemy that you are... <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever seen in this man's army. <laughs> huh? Where'd that little spy in disguise get to now? Mm. Little spy's learning quick. But master of disguise or no, he can't snow job the old Sarge. Time to melt this boy's snowbank. Strip search! Ah! <laughs> Chili had a little bomb whose button made it go. And everywhere that Chili went, it made the Sarge say, Wah! Ah, it's coming! <laughs> no knee-high spy's gonna get free chow on my face. No sorry. Now. A good spy's got to speak many foreign languages. So what's your native tongue, boy? Aha! Uh -huh. You speak the universal language of food. Good. Now get fluent, boy, so as I can get my promotion from the general, then all that food can be yours. What do you say? Ah! We're surrounded! Dig in! Hey, you little stunt monkey! Come here, ya! Play <laughs> around, rosy, pocket full of poses. The spy. This is my chance for the promotion. I need a disguise. I need to parley vu in a foreign tongue. Hi -ya! I need to take this joker out, mano, a mano, a mano. No, wait, that's too many manos. Where'd he go? No problemo. 
A crack counter spy like me can always track his man anywhere. I was just giving the Sarge a test, but it looks like you passed with flying colors. Flushing me out with this fine smelling chow. What a brilliant idea! <laughs> I'm putting you in charge of security around here, Chili. <laughs> security and chow detail. <laughs> The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, Hogwash. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. 